It is field day 2023. We're out at the deer lease. And I figured what better way to start field day than with an antenna build. So thanks to Radiotity for sending me the Zygu VG4 four band vertical antenna. It is 40, 20, 15, and 10 with no tuner needed with uh, promised a 1.5 to one SWR or better. So uh, let me uh, take you over to the uh, table where you got everything laid out and uh, let's check it out. Welcome to camp. This is kind of becoming a tradition coming out to Jason's Deer Lease for the uh, field day exercises. Say hi to uh, Frank and Mike over there. Y'all wave to the camera. Hi everybody. And we've put together this monstrosity. This is the Zygu, Shagu, however you want to say it. Zorro. VG4, Zorro, there you go. Zorro. The four band vertical came in this, uh, this box right there with a couple of pages of instruction. It's actually pretty self-explanatory the way you put things together. Uh, matching unit attaches down here at the bottom, like so, and every piece is numbered. And everything's held together with uh, clips all the way up until you get to the trap sections. So we're good for 40, 20, 15, and 10. And it is a beast of an antenna. And we've got uh, rated up to 1,000 watts at 50, 50 ohms. It's advertised. Advertised. <laughs> Your mileage may vary. And it has uh, uh, ra ground radials for the bottom piece. Uh, Zygu recommends that this is mounted at least 10 feet off the ground. And uh, you've got a capacitance hat up at the top that will plug in to here and another set of radials that will go up at the top. Now initially I wanted to set this post in the ground but the deer lease is nothing but clay. So we're going to be using the uh, MFJ, not the MFJ, it is the Gigaparts carbon fiber mat, uh, carbon fiber tripod and it comes with these pipe clamps. I am not a fan. Uh, this <laughs> This has been, I've been fighting with this all morning, but uh, this section will go up and we'll be about uh, between eight and 10 feet off the ground. So we're gonna get to work on this and get it put together. My... These, you're not a fan of my those mask. Those oh. <laughs> I was gonna defend my mask. <laughs> no, I love your mask. I just don't like the, uh, no, I'm with the you clamps on. that are, all, that are supposed you. to go around that. So we're gonna uh, finish putting this thing together and I'll get you guys a picture of it of when we get it set up and then we'll see is it resonant do we get at least 1.5 to 1 let's check it out so the mast here was too thin so shane uh hammed harder and put some uh cardboard here that's like some corners for like yeah. like you'd put around a, a, a pallet a or something it came from zygu right it's part, of the oh, box. Yeah. It's part of the shipping yeah they, they give you that it's that's some ham genuity we call it it's free it's a freebie yep it works, that's all that matters. That is true. Where's the coax plug in? Oh, there right I see. There. Okay. And I have yeah. radials that are going to go in there too. Okay. How does that feel? Stable for now. Okay. All right. First good wind gun. So it's up. <laughs> yeah, I'd say get some get some guy ropes, but that's a pretty that's a pretty cool looking uh, antenna. Let's see how it works. Oh, we see the Shane out in the wild <laughs> playing. What are these? This is like a ground plane kind of thing? Now I'm filming Mike filming Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Inception. Inception. Oh. <laughs> the dream inside the dream. I once dreamed of building an antenna and putting it on video. I dream a dream. Now I'm videoing. Building Someone else building an antenna. <laughs> Nope. Else, uh, Jason is happy to film other people make antennas. Not so happy to film <laughs> his own antenna making. One antenna I haven't made and I get I get bad rep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just above head level. Uh, watch out for these. This is gonna be raised. I'm wearing I'm wearing sunnies, so if I walked into this it would just but uh, safety officer. yeah, these are these radials are 
like just right where they want to stab you right in the eye. So, now Shane has hooked up the antenna, got the coax plugged in to that with the stick. Was that the 250 or whatever it is? Yep. All right, we're going to do just a quick We're going to see how we're looking. We are 1.25 to 1 on 20 meters. Really? At 14. At 14? Mm-hmm. What's it look when you go we're higher up? 1.43 to 1 on 15. At what frequency? At uh, 21 megahertz. So the very bottom of the band, it appears to be resonant. Okay. And then 2.8 at uh, 12 meters, which is not even supposed to work on 12 meters. All right, that's tunable. Uh, <laughs> 1.09 to 1 on 11 meters. Nice. <laughs> at 27.7. CB field day. Yeah. <laughs> it is 1.15 to 1 uh, on 10 meters at 28 megahertz. Really? It is on six meters. It's one point two seven to one at fifty three fifty two seven thirty seven. That's and two points, random and two point seven to one on one point two five meters. <laughs> yeah, but what do you run an RG eight X? That's coax yeah. loss. That's yeah. why two meters looks good. Yep. That's not bad though. Especially not for being uh, elevated at all. I bet if we raised it up off the ground. And you did no there, tuning. We just put this by we. I mean, you guys just put this up. Well, the, the uh, packaging says 1.5 to 1 across all the bands. Yeah. So let's see how much of the band we can cover. Ooh. So it's too long. You need to shorten it. Yeah, I need to shorten it. Ah! So there's the graph. And, and that's what every band looks like. It's at the, yeah. it's at the bottom of the band. So that's good. Just yeah. need to shorten it up. So. All I'm going to do is I yeah. think there's a couple of traps that we could just bring those down just a bit. Yep. Perfect. Get to work. But that so, means you get to take it all down. Well, I'm going to raise it first, see how that works. And then okay. We'll see what we can do. I'm thinking that your idea about just leaning it over might be the way to go. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. Okay. So we've raised it three or four feet, and we have a gust of wind, so I'm yep. nervous right Definitely now. Definitely not going to fall over. Yeah. And let's uh, let's rescan. So yeah, it's it still, like it did anything. yeah, it didn't do much at all. Yeah, just needs to be shortened. Yep, your wrenches are on the table. Oh, you got it. So, what do we? So, we're gonna loosen this, and that just slides inside itself. I see. Okay, did you just pull it out farther than what it was? There? No, I went like double. You need to shorten it. You just lengthened it. No, I, I went in too far first. Oh, okay. Are you sure? So uh, the initial setup. Did you mark it? I put the where this these two come together is right where it. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, the bottom of this was flush with that. Okay. So let's go in. Maybe that far? Sure. I don't think we have much adjustment here because that would be longer. I have so that's no as idea. far down as that will go. That's as far down as that will go. So our next adjustment would be here. So really just two adjustments, or, maybe, or that one would be the third, that one. Well, that one can't go down much either. Oh, really? Yeah. So if we look, we have a gap there. So let's go back there. We're very scientific. Mm-hmm. That's now, is, is that a whip? Can yeah. that be shortened? That can be shortened also. Oh, shoot. So should we I wonder if we should have just tried with that. that first? Hmm. Let's stand it back up, throw the coax on it, and see where we're at. All right, so we've shortened three of the traps. Mm -hmm. We haven't shortened the whip yet, so we'll see where we're at. Okay, so 40, we are still low. Ooh. 
We're 1.12 at 6.91. Well, that didn't seem to do anything, did it? I don't it? think that changed much at all. I think huh. the whips are going to have to be shortened. I think so. Try, uh, try another band. So for 20, yeah, we're at 13.99, yeah, 1.03. I mean, the match is better, but the frequency is not. Yeah. So I think those whips are going to need to be adjusted. Say if we shorten the whip, maybe a, a few inches. Yeah. Yeah, because everything's still everything's still way everything's low, low, but the match is better. Is it okay? Yeah. So so because 15 was 1.4, I think. 11. How's 11 though? Everybody wants to know. See, 11's, 11's too short now. 11, it's 1.23 at 27.9. <laughs> and 10, 10 is 1.21 at 27.95. But it's under, it's like 1.3 across the Across the entire, and that's a big band. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's shorten the whip. Tuning number two. Yep. Traps got us a little bit better of a match across all of the pins. Yep. As far as the ohms and whatnot. As far as the ohms and, and what and all the SWR that stuff. Was. Now we just need to bring whatever we need to bring that resonance up a little bit. So we're gonna start by shortening the top whip. And this whip is only it's probably it's not very big. I mean maybe eight feet total. Yeah. So So what do you think? Uh, I mean I, w I would probably go like six inches. Like up to this maybe up to this marker? No, a couple inches shorter than that. So maybe about right there? Somewhere in there, yeah. Right, yeah, right there. I mean, who knows? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's, you got to experiment. That's, that's ham radio. Yeah. Thankfully, we have this really cool tripod, and we don't have to take it up and down off of the top yeah. of a building somewhere. But overall, just as someone watching you, this did look pretty easy to assemble. Easy. So I've never assembled any type of antenna like this. The instructions suck, so I didn't use any of the instructions. So basically, I just put the numbered segments in the order that they're supposed to go in from top to bottom. So I mean, that's, to be fair, that's <laughs> really simple. all you need. Yeah. So. So let's raise it back The up. only thing, you could almost do this by yourself other than, like, lowering the mast like this. You just, you, you got to have two people. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit lengthy. Yeah. All right. For one person. Well, we are back from field day, and I will have to say that antenna was a booger to try to get tuned i think we spent a total of about two and a half uh, hours trying to get that thing uh set up correctly to where we could try to get it uh close um, we were able to get uh, 20 meters and 10 pretty much spot on and the swr i believe on that was about 1.3 to 1. Um, it did work across all the bands as advertised um I don't know if it was more of my inexperience building this type of antenna or how I had it set up. I'm not quite sure there, but uh, I did uh, fire up uh, Mike 7300 and make a few contacts with it. Got great signal uh, reports from those that I did make contact with. So all in all, I think it's a great antenna. Um, it needs a little bit more experience, I think, of a builder to uh, get it set up correctly, get it tuned correctly. But um, for the price point, I think if you need something that um, doesn't take up a big footprint, that it uh, and you can do a vertical i'm sure the hoas would love this thing it is ginormous but um if you have if you need the if you like the the wide open space for like a radio field for a dx commander or something like that and you're looking for uh, a vertical antenna that you could put up that would get you get you on hf i think this is a good option it's almost uh, 20 i believe it's 20 something feet tall uh from the from the coax connection to the top of the whips but uh, thanks for sticking through this thanks for uh for for uh watching the channel i appreciate all that and uh Let's uh, let's do this again. I like building antennas. This was a fun experiment. Thanks to Mike and Jason and Frank and 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 all the guys there for for helping me put this together. And uh, thank you for watching 73 to you. We'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.